how's everybody doing? Um, it is a another day over here and school for my kids start tomorrow so <clears throat> have no idea what that journey is going to look like um, they are going to be homeschool so I mean not homeschool but they are going to be going to school online through their regular school um, have no idea when school is coming back they didn't give us a date um, so keto coffee is how I'm starting my day off I really don't like how I look in this video. I do want to talk about um, <clears throat> an album that came out, Nas. So Nas released an album, and I listened to it last night, and I listened to the whole thing. And there are some cl there are some cool songs on there. I actually do like Nas. I am a I wouldn't say a Nas fan. But I would say that I do enjoy some of his songs. Um, Nas to me is a complicated character. Kids, they woke up. Nas is a complicated character um, because for so many reasons. For you know, sometimes his language, sometimes his language. My kids is watching Paw Patrol. So controlling, you know, so therefore this is what this is what this is what I have to deal with. Anywho, um Nas. Nas is a complicated dude. I am I I I think his album is okay. I am not against his album. I think it's let me ask it for another let me let me say it in a different way. I, uh, the thing that Nas, that, that Nas has gotten credit for is that he likes to have this consciousness, this space of consciousness that is also reflected in hood, right? So he's this mixture of hood and consciousness that people have, that we have allowed him to do, right? In a few minutes, right? That we've allowed him to occupy this space of hood consciousness, okay? Um... I think that his album is relatable to um, a grown a grown man who is still kind of struggling with what his placement is. I don't feel that Nas has fully. This album is one of those albums that I don't know. You know, it's a it's the stereotypical of the year 2020 where we are engaging yes i did where we are engaging within two things right we're engaging in number one consciousness right of what it means to be black and how we can support each other and then the second phase that we're engaging in is because we're at the house um what's family Right, and so that's the that's the key. What is family, and the fact that we are at the house, sitting at the house with each other, we need to be in this. Um, and if you are not, if if living this single life of going from house to house or chick to chick or dude to dude or whatever you're doing isn't the safest idea in this type of situation that we're living in and so you may find yourself in this moment of what should I do where should I be what is my what is my level of consciousness that I need to be dealing with right now and that's what and I think this is where let's drop the pin in to this album this album is that conversation of what is a guy um, who's struggling to find his placement within his internal, with the internally, the with family, like developing a family, um, along with um, the level of consciousness that needs to exist within this country. 
I no child. And I couple this with Jay Z's and Pharrell. Jay Z and Pharrell. Pharrell is just such a great producer, man. Like I love, love, love Entrepreneur, and I listen to it multiple times. I watch the video multiple times. Um, I can understand the criticism of it being that he keeps saying black man, black man, and he doesn't, it's not inclusive of black women, <clears throat> but the images are inclusive of black women. But I think also, if you look at Jay-Z's, Jay-Z and Beyonce to me are like the yin and the yang. Beyonce focuses on black women and Jay-Z is focusing on black men who he can relate to. And so I kind of gotten that. And then when they have this moment of trying to, you know, they develop this, this kind of application, this network of how can we support and help black small businesses. <clears throat> and then they actually put money behind it to give black small businesses some money, some small grants that they don't have to pay back and then you come up with this video where you're highlighting black entrepreneurship that is not black entrepreneurship that has left the hood but who has stayed in our communities i don't want to say hood, but has who's 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 made a conscious decision to stay in our communities and has not tried to actively move away from our communities and then that that moment where he says i am giving a <clears throat> a, uh, a pause for Nipsey Hussle and then the way that pause ended I love this album I mean I love that single and this is what I was saying in regards to I know that all artists cannot be of the moment I get that but when you hear artists that are taking part of the moment and is able to kind of give voice to the rest of us and speaking for the time it's kind of hard to listen to a song and this is no shade so don't come after me it's hard to listen to songs that are talking about money and hoes when if you're around a bunch of if you are hoeing around now then not only is it the potential of STD, but it's also the potential of bringing COVID back home to your family. I can't. I can't. So some of these songs are just so hard to, some of these albums are so hard to listen to. And so I don't review a lot of albums because they're ab ambivalent to the moment. And it's kind of hard for you to come out with, with songs that is absolutely flying against the level of ignorance and is acting like we're not in the middle of uh, a pandemic. We're not in the middle of racial strife. We're not in the middle of election. We're not trying to focus on also empowerment and all of these positives that are taking place and all of these movements like how can you have albums that doesn't even touch upon it or even mental health it's just it's it's it, it fall to me it falls it falls like a bomb it, it it doesn't work it just doesn't work but you know we can um you know you can but you, there are songs out there that have blown up that doesn't talk about the moment, who doesn't listen to the moment. It's just that I am not reviewing those songs because I am in a different place in my life. So it is what it is. And on that note, you have yourself a fantastic afternoon. I'm not coming back later on today because I'm tired and I am
getting pressure at all and first week of schools uh, is kicking my behind um, my advisors like I need this, this, and this. People emailing me like ad codes. I'm like, I'm not giving up an ad code because I'm tired and I'm busy. And these kids are about to kill me, and they're gonna take whatever left of energy that I have. Okay, so uh, have a great afternoon again, and I will see you tomorrow when I have a little bit more time. Bye.